And lastly, I want to discuss about the method of conducting the uh, case management conference. It is especially a desirable subject during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic time. It is widely accepted nowadays that uh, the initial procedural meeting, not just the initial procedural meeting, but perhaps the hearing could be conducted virtually. And there are many technologies such as um, Zoom meeting or Tencent meeting and others uh, being developed to support such virtual meeting. Uh, traditionally speaking, for initial procedure meeting, telephone conference or video conference uh, have been widely used in international arbitration. The presiding arbitrator is often responsible for coordinating the time differences uh, of the tribunal members and the council of the parties, and sometimes, sometimes perhaps also involve the representative of each party. And the, uh, the, the chair arbitrator will send out, very often send out dialing information uh, for participants located across the globe. An initial procedural meeting could last from one hour to three or even four hours, uh, depending on the complexity of the matters discussed and also depending on how the presiding arbitrator uh, manage the meeting, his or, his or her style. It is often considered good practice uh, for the participants to, while talking, mute their speakers and um, so that everyone can hear the speaking person clearly without any background noise. It is also considered good practice for tribunal members and councils to have case files and their calendars available to them during the meeting so that the procedure meeting, the procedure matters could be discussed very efficiently. And sometimes the council, they may need to consult with his or her client on a specific procedure matter, such as to respond to the chair arbitrator's question or proposal about whether a certain date would work. And when doing this, uh, this council, he, should, he or she should always use another line and mute the discussion with their clients. So these details, if, if they were not carefully attended to, they could disrupt the, the initial procedure meeting and make it ineffective. Uh, after the meeting, the presiding arbitrator often would circulate a procedural timetable or terms of reference, if it is applicable, to reflect the discussions of the meeting. And they may also schedule another procedural meeting to discuss uh, on those matters that's not resolved during the initial procedural meeting. Uh, so it's just it not, not only one, there could be more procedural meetings in order to resolve all pending matters. I will stop here. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to say that it's my great honor and pleasure to deliver this lecture uh, to the audience of BIAMC. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to write to me.